The path property of the route component can accept a string, an array of strings, or even regular expressions. That's very interesting because we can more precisely validate our route path names and URL parameters by using regular expressions. Here, for the about page, we can replace the hardcoded string in the path name and replace it with a regular expression and say that we want to match all the URLs that start with the letter A or B, for example. So now, if I visit the slash another URL, the about component is rendered because the URL starts with the letter A. And if I visit the slash blog page, this time both the blog and the about component are rendered because both of those routes match the current URL. Let's take another example, but this time we can use a regular expression to validate the URL parameter of the blog post page. So we can say that the slug parameter can only contain one or more digits and nothing else to match and render the blog post page. So now, if I click on the blog post link that contains the actual slug, we can see that we are not rendering anything because we now only render something if the slug is composed of only digits. And here, this is not the case. But if I go to slash blog slash 345, for example, our route matches and therefore render the corresponding user interface.